Okay. So, um, let everybody have a minute to tune in. I'm going to get this pulled up on my computer. And just as a note for anyone watching this later on replay, this is a live video. The whole point is for me to be able to chit chat with people, answer questions. It's not just a straight up tutorial. So if that's not your kind of video, then check out some of my non live videos. <laughs> okay. And as you tune in, please say hi in the chat box. Let me know where you're watching from. Hello. I feel like it has been a while, huh? Um, and I am super open to suggestions tonight, you guys. Uh, if there's anything specifically you would like to see, I am at my home studio, so I don't have, like, everything. Hey, Tara. Hey, Veronica. Uh, but I have a hair dryer. I've got bottle bottoms. I have a cup turner. I've got a funnel. I've got a dust pan. Um... I've got a strainer probably. I've got push pins. I do have quite a few things. I've got marbles. <laughs> so, hey Linda. All right, we've got Pennsylvania, Ohio, North Carolina, Georgia, Kansas. All right, we've got a vote for a marble pour. Um. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I need to have less tiring weeks so that by the time we get to our live videos, I'm not already like exhausted. All right, I'm going to, let's see, grenade pour, okay, okay, anything on a spinner. All right, we've got a couple votes for marble. So let's at least maybe start with that. I think this will be a fun one. This is a 12 by 16 canvas. It doesn't really work, but do you guys want to do two marbles? Why not? No? All right, if I were my gloves, where would I have put myself? Hmm. There they are. Okay. Always love a grenade. Agreed. All right, and let me know if you guys need me to adjust the camera at all. I think this should be a good view. You only get a little bit of my belly. And two marbles. <laughs> Okay, so if anyone wants to do the math for me, how much paint would I need for a 12 by 16 inch canvas? So if anyone's got a calculator, you multiply 12 by 16 and then divide by 16. <laughs> or you could do it in your head if you are uh, not too tired. I bet you can figure out the answer. <laughs> I know, right? That was a trick question, you guys. You don't even need to do that math. Because <laughs> it's 12 times 16 divided by 16. Yeah, anyways. Okay. Hey, Pat from San Diego. All right, so I'm going to do, I think, warm colors. I've got some copper, some electric purple, some razzle dazzle. I'll use electric pink and. Ooh, Merlot. We're going to leave the turquoise out. I know, right, Veronica? All right, so this cup doesn't quite fit 12 ounces, but that's okay. We will make it work. Hey, Kathleen. And I don't want too many cells in here, so I'm pouring kind of down the side, but I did just get back from out of town, so I did also shake these before using, so they may have a little more air bubbles in there than usual. All right, this is the razzle-dazzle. And I'm gonna layer the white in here. 
So I want a lighter piece. All right, how's everybody doing? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to super chat or super sticker if you would like. Totally up to you. And let's just have a good time. You know what I realized the other day that I haven't done in a while? Now, of course, it's not Thanksgiving yet, but the turkey pour. So who knows? Maybe we'll do one tonight, but I think we'll at least do this marble pour and a grenade pour because those were the two things that were requested. Now this canvas, I don't know if you guys can see through the screen there. Well, you can tell by the marbles, but it's um, quite loose. Now let's throw some royal purple in there. We're going to just fill it up to the tippy top. Hey, Evie. You know what we could try? Maybe we could put this on a spinner. I haven't done a marble pour on a spinner, so that could be interesting. It's also, well, maybe I get a different canvas. What do you guys think? Danielle, it's not my camera. Trust me, it is uh, YouTube. You have to go into your settings and fix it. <laughs> I can't fix that for you. Um, if you do, you guys want to see this one on, on a spinner? If so, I'll get to a different uh, canvas size, probably. Or we can wing this one. I don't know. I typically only do square or round canvases, but we could do a rectangle. There's no rules against it. <laughs> All right, so like I said, this is loose. Can you guys see that? Like it's so loose. So to tighten that up, I just put some water on the back of it. And if you have a spray bottle, fantastic. Hey, Joanne, good seeing you here. Um, if you don't, you can just literally pour water into it, but I actually do a spray bottle. I need to put water in it, but I have a spray bottle. All right. It is fantastic having a bathroom in my studio. Um, and as a note to you guys, I will be scheduling a Los Angeles uh, class very soon. Megan, I already shipped you some. So I'm just spritzing the back of water. Um, just make sure it gets into the corners. And then you don't even have to wait for it to dry. You can just use it right away. Now, because the back is wet though, it is going to be difficult <laughs> to put this on the spinner. So, Let's grab one more of these. Hopefully one that's not all funky. Yeah, this one's good. Um, I probably will not come to Oklahoma, no offense, but Texas is quite close. And I've had a ton of people come to Texas from Oklahoma. So that would be my best suggestion because I will not be going to Oklahoma anytime, even remotely soon. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with Oklahoma, but it just doesn't make any sense. All right. So I'm going to put some double-sided sticky tape on the back of this. And it's like impossible to do this with gloves on. So I'm going all kinds of crazy on this one. I'm actually going to just put it on the middles here because these sides won't fit onto my spinner, only the 12 inch sides will. Okay. And then, oh, good to know. At eight o'clock, what time zone? I am in Pacific, so if you say eight, to me that's eight Pacific. So I'm putting a, a uh, shower cap over my spinner to protect it. And then I'm going to try to essentially center this if it's not centered, it's not the end of the world, but it won't quite uh, 
eats evenly spread out. Eastern time. Okay. Well, can't guarantee you I could be there because I might be here still, but I will do my best. Okay. So we're going to start off with the marble pour. And there is no wrong way to do this, you guys. Um, I What I like is to put the marbles on here and pour over them. But if you want, you can put them into your cup and do a flip cup. You can do all kinds of things. All right, so let's do, we're gonna basically do kind of two tree rings. And hopefully we're not too close to the edge here. I realize I probably should have tilted this before putting it on the spinner, but we can also tilt it on the spinner. So typically we'll tilt this to get the uh, marbles to kind of roll around. So it's gonna tilt maybe a little bit and then spin it out. And if you're definitely, if you're doing this on any kind of even remotely large surface, I'm not sure if it will happen here, but um, the marbles will basically go together. Uh, it's like almost like they have like some crazy magnetic pull. It's kind of funny. So you can kind of already see they're starting to kind of gravitate towards each other. I think I'm gonna leave them on the canvas for the spin. Let's kind of center it and see what happens. No guarantees. Megan, I can't update you 10 times in one video. If you don't have your sound on, I don't know how to keep answering you. I can't type while I'm painting, so you're gonna have to listen with your sound on. Here we go. I'm not sure if the marbles will even move that much. Never tried this before. Oh, well that one is like, I'm out of here. He is gone. That is pretty, it's a lot of pink. All right, let's spin it again, see if we can get the other one to fly. I'm a little worried. Yeah, as soon as it gets off balance, it flies. Ooh, look at that, okay. That one went to the floor. <laughs> All right. So if it's like in the center, the force of the spinning kind of keeps it there, but as soon as it gets kind of off to one side, it just goes. <laughs> well, that was a a risky adventure that worked out though. No one was harmed in the making of this. The Merlot got lost, it's all in here. There's so much Merlot. I'll bring you in for a close up. I have some pretty uh, <laughs> bright lights in here so it may be kind of hard to see. I also do have a dry paint goober, so one second. Yeah, if Veronica was in here, I would be telling her to stand across the room, but just me. All right, let's do a <laughs> close up here. And I'm gonna retrieve my lost marble. Nope, I'm not, cause I don't know where it went. All right, it's going to shake. So be prepared. Yeah, there's a lot of Merlot in here. But I did put a lot of white and I put the white next to the Merlot. So it also gave us this kind of medium pink that I did not put in here. Look how cool that is though. Almost looks like a agate or a gate if you feel like it. <laughs> now we've definitely got the, uh, you can see the razzle dazzle in there and then the hot pink. It's a lot of pink. And over here, it's beautiful light a lot of white but it looks like nice and soft i like it and then yes the merlot yeah so that was fun neapolitan vibes i agree it's like chocolate vanilla strawberry ice cream i'm gonna move this a little closer and a little bit down all right so I will move this off the spinner, but for now, I'm just going to kick things and move it to the side. And 
and then we are going to do a grenade. All right, stay there. You stay. Hey, Jenny. All right, guys, so just updates. Um, I do have the class coming up in Seguin next month. So for anyone even remotely near Texas, you should definitely come. And then I have the class in Florida in November. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. I'm gonna just do this other 12 by 16 inch canvas. And this is going to be the most beautiful paint skin in the world. As long as I don't mess it up too much with my paint stand. Um, and then also, the pouring medium starts shipping tomorrow. So if you have not placed your order yet for the pouring medium, do so now. The price will be going up on Saturday. So you want to get your orders in before then. Or place your order on Saturday for slightly more money. And that works for me too. Um, I'm definitely doing my best to keep your guys' cost down. But uh, yeah, just so you know about the pouring medium too, it is not Floetrol, it's not like Floetrol. If anything, it's more like um, Amsterdam pouring medium, which is about $120 a gallon. <laughs> just so you guys have kind of a, a comparison. Um, or like even Golden GAC 800, which is about $80 a gallon. So it's, it's very quality material. I'm just gonna reuse the same cup because I don't want to waste cups. I'm going to stick the pin in the bottom. And this is a jumbo pin. Um, Veronica can possibly get you the link. Get these from Amazon. You just need to buy them once in your lifetime if you're doing grenades. Uh, but they're good for people that like to put them on the bottom of your canvases as well. Me personally, I like the Painter's Pyramids better. But yeah. All right, let's see. So I want a little less pink. We're gonna start off with some white. Let's get the turquoise in here. Hey, Erin. So Erin, as somebody who has been one of the first person to try the pouring medium, what do you think? Let us know in the chat box. Tara just got hers. Okay, good. Hey, Amanda. All right, this is the electric purple. Let's get, let's get some like greens in here. Let's put some meadow green. It's gonna be very kind of spring-like. I want a metallic, I'm not sure which. Maybe, uh, let me see if I have sapphire blue, hold on. Definitely have some emerald green. I'm going to use some of this pinky blue shimmer, which is one of the colors that was in a recent mystery box. Yay, Erin. All right, Katie's voting for copper, so we'll throw a little bit of that in there. This is gonna be an everything but the kitchen sink <laughs> pour. And I'm going to put some emerald green in here, too. Okay. Um, Kathleen, yes. So I mix it pretty much the same as you'd mix Floetrol, but you actually don't need to. Uh, Floetrol, I always mix two-thirds Floetrol to one-third paint. I'd say with this pouring medium, I probably lean closer to 50-50, but you could definitely do two-thirds pouring medium to paint. Okay, we need purple, you guys. Purple. And I must have some deep, dark, gorgeous blue here. Well, let's do some Caribbean teal. Yep, 
Yeah, and let's say you have like a super fluid and highly pigmented paint, like the golden uh, fluid paints that are really pigmented, you might want to use more of the pouring medium and less of that. So it's definitely, there's a lot of wiggle room. I guess we'll throw some pink in here. Why not? Hey, Bonnie. Okay, top it off with some turquoise and Bob's your uncle. So I am going to flip cut this without moving the canvas because I already have it perfectly placed up on the uh, painter's pyramids, which is going to be really interesting because this is super full. So get ready for a mess. Only for you guys. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So people often ask, what's the point of the pin? The point is it releases the suction. So you can see right now that the paint's staying in the cup because there is a there is suction between the cup and the canvas. But, yeah, I make the sound effects. Take out the pin, it lets in air, and voila. <laughs> it just releases. So. <laughs> kind of a pro at those flips by now. Had a little practice. All right, we got a little green here. Okay. So I like to lip it. You don't have to, but I, you know me, I love lines. We just did the whole marble thing and I love that. So I'm gonna kind of release the rest of the paint and then I'm gonna kind of just lip my cup through here. Not a requirement at all. And if you don't like lines really, then don't do this part. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, any difference in doing a paint grenade with a base coat? I can't see why there would be, but I haven't done it. I don't really use base coats in general because I think they're fairly unnecessary <laughs> uh, unless you have to for a technique and it can definitely change the colors of your outcome so I'm not a big fan of base coats. All right so we're gonna do a tilt a wilt that's not even a word tilt a whirl you know like that game or whatever the ride carnival. Ooh ah this is exciting. Okay. So I reused a white paint bottle that I should not have. <laughs> Just as an FYI, that's why I'm getting some dried white pieces because it was an old paint bottle and I thought it'd be okay, but it had been kind of dried out. So it's giving me some white dry paint pieces in here, which is really annoying. And I know better, but you know. One crafty gal, definitely coming up 100%. I keep meaning to do one because I've got such a large pile of skins now, but honestly, I've just been kind of unmotivated on it. I did recently though do, me and Veronica made, probably mostly Veronica, me and Veronica made like 130 or whatever, 150 uh, wine glass charms with the skins, which was awesome. It got rid of so many skins <laughs> that I had saved up. Um, it was for a friend's wedding, but I'll definitely do an updated video, okay? All right, let's go ahead and do a close up here. Um, yeah, a lot of green, which I was kind of expecting. We've got some gorgeous lacing in here. We've got some cells popping up over here. And here comes my daughter, ignoring the fact that I told her I was doing a live video. <laughs> and she just remembered and walked away. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Camera's gonna shake. <laughs> Corn.
corn cob pin. That's awesome. All right, look at this over here. So one thing I've noticed about this pouring medium, I mean, obviously, depending on the technique you're doing, it is fantastic for lacing. This is just gorgeous. Um, and there's going to be a lot of technique videos coming out soon. I just have to stop going out of town for about 10 seconds. Um, but yes, coming up. Look at this part. It's pretty fun. Different kind of lacing. More uh, Halloween vibes. Oh, look, there's an owl. You guys see him? This is a one eye, two eye. Here's his body. He's only on one ear, though. Um, he lost the other one in a fight with a bat. All right. So there you guys go. Tons of fun. All right. Sorry, shakiness again. It's going to go here. Yeah, I love the lacing. So Tara, I think I saw a question earlier, but I don't typically add water to this. You like your paint super thin though, so you might, you can absolutely add water if you like the thinner. I typically don't because it's thin enough for me for what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, um, I think that's all we're gonna do for tonight. Yeah, I, I definitely could see a shark or a sea turtle embellishment here. So let me just grab one link for you guys really quickly. Please hold. Your call is very important. All right. Here we go. So Miss Joanne Ralston has a live in 30 minutes. Here's a link to her channel, uh-oh, I am in, I'm the wrong person. <laughs> Please hold, I will be right back as mixed media girl. I felt like there was something wrong with that. Nope, that's also the wrong person. I have too many um, aliases. There we go. I don't think that link is gonna even work as Marcy. Here is the link to Joanne's channel. <laughs> um, so does anyone have any last minute questions before I head out for the evening? No problem, Joanne. I love to support other artists. I love when we used to be able to post, like we used to be able to click on people's names and go directly to their channels, but not anymore. YouTube messed it all up. So anyways, um, yeah, but if anybody wants to, they can go, I have a YouTube channel in the chat box and then people can just, uh, search for their name later on. But yeah, there's no more to, you can't click on it anymore. Ugh, some of the lacing here is just so beautiful. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you next week. Hope to see you in Texas next month. Hope to see you in Florida. Go get your pouring medium if you haven't already. It's going to be shipping starting tomorrow and I'm so excited and you will love it. <laughs> okay, have a great night.